All right, you guys, the biggest question on the table for the Detroit Lions is what should the Lions do with the seven pick overall? Now, I know as a fan, you have your perspective on what you think the Lions should do. But ultimately, the Lions have a big board. And on that big board, there's many names on that big board. And there's names such as Jamar Chase, Jalen Waddle, Devonta Smith, Trey Lance, Zach Wilson, Justin Fields. Panay Sewell, Slaughter, Micah Parsons, Zavin Collins, to go on and on and on. But the biggest thing is, is that today we're going to do a little thing called Be the GM. And today you get an opportunity to be the GM for the Detroit Lions. Now, there's many things that you can do. You know, you can trade up if that's an option for you. Or you can trade back, try to get multiple picks. Or if you feel like one of these players is a player that you can take at seven and be comfortable with that, then you take that player. To me, the biggest need for the Detroit Lions, as I've been looking at this team for a very, very long time, is the linebacker position. I know, I know, I know. I know a lot of you say Man, why don't we take the wide receiver? Some people say, why don't we take the offensive lineman? Man, Big V is not working out. You know, they pay Big V a lot of money, and I understand that. And he's going to have to, he's going to be the guy penciled in on day one. You know, they're paying this guy a lot of money to protect Jared Goff. And um, inquiring minds want to know, what are the Lions going to do? At seven. Now, today, if you have not taken a look at some of the pro days, Micah Parsons ran a 4 3, a 4 3 5 to be exact. That's crazy. Um, when you know that your biggest need is linebacker, what do you do? Because the biggest thing that I know with the Lions is that they haven't had a linebacker that's been quite good in coverage since DeAndre Levy. And not only was Levy good in coverage, he was also a playmaker on defense. He would stop the run. He would get in and sometimes be able to put that pressure on the quarterback. And that's what the Lions need, man. They need a face on the defense. Now, I know you're talking about, uh, I, don't, I don't know if I should take Parsons because of what he did off the field. You know, sometimes it's a thing called, I'm not going to even say sometimes, it's a thing out there called forgiveness. And we've all been young before. And you may, some of you guys may still be young, even younger than me. But at the same time, everybody makes a mistake. I believe that everybody deserves a second chance. I believe in redemption. But at the same time, when you look at the Detroit Lions, to me, the biggest need is linebacker. That's always been the biggest need because you have not really had a stud at linebacker in a very, very long time. And you need somebody that's going to be able to create havoc on that defense. Because when you look at the Lions defense in totality, there's no player on that defense that scares you. I don't care if you say it's Jeffrey Okuda. I don't care if you say it's a, a Warrior. Uh, Jamie Collins, Trey Flowers, Romeo Aquara, whoever you think that it may be. At the end of the day, the Lions still have a need at linebacker. Now, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Lions made a lot of signings and they picked up a linebacker. I, I, I understand that. But at the same time, when you're talking about drafting seven, you're talking about getting a guy that's going to be an immediate impact. And all of these guys that we just that I just named, they can be impacts for the Lions, whether it be at the wide receiver position, whether it be at the offensive lineman position and whether it be at the linebacking position. Because to me, guys, it's only two linebackers that personally, per se, that I would take at seven. And that's Micah Parsons. And Zavin Collins. Now, I do like Zavin Collins as well because he's a great coverage linebacker and he makes plays as well. 
I don't know what Xavier Collins is going to do with his pro day. I believe his pro day is April 2nd. I don't know if he's going to be able to outrun Micah Parsons. And I believe Xavier Collins is a little bit bigger than him. He's 6'4", 260 pounds. And if you're talking about a guy that could, that can run a 4-3 being that big like Xavier Collins, that will be crazy. So the biggest thing is that the Lions, and I know you fans, want what you want. But at the end of the day, it's going to be what the Lions want. It's going to be the position that they think that's going to impact the team. If they feel like they can get a guy later, then they make the trade back. I don't really see the Lions trading up because they don't have too many assets to trade up. Unless you're probably giving away a guy like Trey Flowers or something like that in trade. But they don't have too many assets to really, really give up to move up because you only have six picks in a draft. So with those six picks, you have to be able to draft correctly. You got to try to hit on all six guys. And I'm talking about guys that can be impact players, guys that can make um, a contribution to the team, some kind of way getting on the field. You want to see that. But I think the biggest hole for the Lions is linebacker. And I know that you guys know that it's the linebacker position. I'm not saying that they have to go with that because you can also go offense as well because there's a glaring need at uh, wide receiver as well. I know that they picked up a couple wide receivers in the offseason. But you can always, if you feel like any of these guys can be a number one receiver, go out of them. But there's so many receivers in the draft where you don't really have to invest in a wide receiver early. You can get a wide receiver in the later rounds or whatever. But to me, a glaring hole that the Lions have is in the middle of the pack. And it's the defense. Of, uh, it's defense. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard the, the talks about, you know, the retool and rebuilding. But at the same time, the Detroit Lions need a stud and a face on defense. Because let's face it, guys, there is no face on defense. I know you can tell me that it's Trey Flowers. I know you could tell me it's uh, Romeo Aquara. I know you could tell me it's um, Jelani Tavai, whoever you may think that it is. But I beg to differ. That it's, 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 no, it's nobody on defense that scares you. It's nobody when you're on the offensive side of the ball, you're saying, hey, you know, hey, watch out for number 54. Watch out for number 55. This dude is a playmaker, man. This dude is always all over the field. He impacts the, uh, the game with his play. And things of that nature. So we'll see what happens, man. But I definitely think that Micah Parson is making a good pitch to be that number seven. So we'll see what happens. The Lions communicated with him today. We'll see. I must admit, guys, that Micah Parson shocked me today. I did not think that Micah Parson was going to run a 4-3. I thought that he would probably be a 4-5, 4-6, somewhere in there. But today, definitely that's going to look good for him. And uh, I believe the Lions camp was there to uh, be able to talk to him and see what they want to do, what they're going to do with that seven selection. So to me, the linebacker is the greatest need that the team has. And I think majority of the Lions fans would agree with that, that Parsons is a guy that you can look at and take at seven if you're comfortable with that. But if not, you think the wide receiver, the offensive lineman or whoever you may think that they should take with the seven pick overall. Um, there's options, man, and the Lions are in a good place to be right in that seven spot. You never know. It might be a team that wants to come up and to give you multiple picks. But to me, initially, the weakness on the Lions is being able to get a stud at linebacker. All right, guys, I'll be back to you soon. I'm out of here. Peace.